anything tried to hurt anybody in this room? People have said they've been scratched. A girl said, I was actually here the night she so she got slapped, but it didn't, she didn't get slapped. She felt the sting, like the after effect, of, and you could see a full on handprint on her cheek. This bathroom here, a lot of people will not use, um, but this bathroom and the other bathroom were one room. This bathroom, I actually put my recorder in here before you guys got here, um, so I don't know if anything's on it. But I do pick, I, it seems weird to put a recorder in the bathroom, but I get yelled at a lot from a gentleman in here. So there's, that's the bathroom. <laughs> a lot of yelling. Lots of yelling. I can. Pl I don't know if anything's on here, but I can try and play it. If you. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just say the bathroom, but oh, now he's creepy. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh my God! Oh, that actually startled. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, I'm jumpy. The reason. Oh, I say the reason he's here is because the mannequin. So there's. Be part of the yelling. I can't. There's lots of moving around in there, but I don't know what he's doing. Um. So the mannequin. <laughs> so wait. So that's. <laughs> I put this in right before you guys got here. No. Yeah, I get yelled at a lot in that bathroom. I don't. Wait. Because I. So when I put it up here, I went downstairs and just laid on that little satay in the dining room. I didn't even come back up here once I put this up. And I put them in, put them in weird spots. Okay, he's still going. So let me, real quick, mm -hmm. you put this upstairs before we got here. Right before you got here, yep. And nobody's been up here. I want to say I put it up about, because I didn't know what time you guys were coming, so I put it in here about 2.45. And yeah, I don't even so know what time what? it is there. Yeah. 30, and it's minutes. only voice activated, so it's only going to pick up if something... And I have only been downstairs... The, I've been downstairs the whole time, other than when I put this up here. Because it's cooler down there. <laughs> so, well, what, yeah. so why do you think the yelling? I think that that might have been the room he committed to in. And I, when I put it there, I said, Charles, is this your room? Or Peter? Now, Peter was his brother. Um, I get a lot of Peters here. Um... Peter's picture actually flew off of the bookcase. I should have shown you when we were in the library. There is a picture, there are two pictures of um, two guys. One is Peter, one is Fred. Those were Charles's older brothers. So Mrs. McIntyre, the second one who had three sons from a previous marriage, she had Peter, Fred, and Charles. And Charles was the only one that lived here with her. Peter and Fred eventually lived here, but not, they never met Mr. McIntyre. And they didn't die here. Um, Charles did. And that's very clearly a man's voice. Yes. And if you're here oh, yeah. alone, that's... Yes. And he's would still be going. physically impossible for you to even make that. Yeah. And I do put them in... Well... I don't know how long he's going to... He's just moving around a lot. Can we walk back into that room real yeah. quick? Yeah! I'm going to use this for the beginning <laughs> of the documentary. Yeah! So this is the room where these voices were just recorded. Yep, I actually had it sitting right here. And I just said, Charles, is this your room or Peter? And I shut the door and went downstairs. We do get lots of Stephanie's here and that makes me a little uncomfortable, but. <laughs> yeah, so that's a very eerie voice. Yeah, and that's actually subtle compared to what I normally get. It's normally just screaming, screaming. Um, the shower, sometimes, like that. I've never heard <laughs> anything like that. The shower behind you, I was actually in that shower and there was, okay, all right, 
there's you know the bars of soap and when they start is that a whistle yeah we get lots of whistles Yep. Mm-hmm. So the bar of soap, I was sitting there just oh washing God. my hair and I watched it and he starts just doing this. And there's something about this bathroom. I don't. And, and this is the bathroom people don't like to come into? Yes, a lot of people will not use this bathroom. Mm-hmm. Because Lori, of? Because of just, they just feel very uncomfortable. Now something mimics people here, like I've heard um, my husband talking to me, I was in the shower and he was out mowing. People have heard me talking to them. Right now, I the only person that feels a breeze. I, 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 I did. You feel a breeze? I did, I did. Yeah, okay. I just felt a, a breeze. Is here? No. And we have no AC. <laughs> I just, okay, I'm glad you I, felt no, it. I, I did. just felt I a did. breeze. I did. I'm come like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe because you're playing the voice out loud? Maybe so. Because normally I don't play it in here. I play it out there. I mean, I could even put it back. And fin- we can finish the tour and then see if we can talk even then. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Just a quick reminder, if you're watching this video, take five seconds, like the video, and leave a comment for me in the comments section. This is the longest video ever in the history of my channel, and it's one of the best videos in my opinion. So if you want this video to do well, if you want me to continue making videos like this, please just drop a like, go leave a comment, and if you don't subscribe, subscribe already. There are some clips that we're gonna be posting from this investigation on our Patreon that I just didn't wanna make the episode even longer. It's already over two and a half hours long. So if you want to become a patron, the link is in the description of the video. We have so much content on there. People on Patreon knew that this video was happening a long time ago. But uh, anyways, guys, this is a, a such a monumental, massive film for me to have put out for you guys. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying it right now. Um, but from Kansas here, we just did the Sally House, the Gore Psychiatric Museum, and obviously the McIntyre Villa. I was saying it wrong in the video, but it's McIntyre. And uh, we got four more investigations this trip before we're done. A whole New Orleans series coming. I'm so happy to have all of you online watching and a part of the Spooky family. We all love you guys so much. And anyways, let's get back to the video, everybody. Stay spooky. Okay. Go for it. Hi, I'm Stephanie Neal, and I own the McIntyre Villa in Atchison, Kansas. Come on in, and I will take you around the house. All right. Okay, we can start in the dining room. I normally start in here. The, the history of the McIntyre Villa is what I know so far. The house was built in 1889, finished in one year for $14,000 for Mr. John McIntyre and his first wife, Alice. The house was finished in 1890. Um, Mr. McIntyre was a saddle and harness maker in Atchison. He was one of the wealthiest men in Kansas. He had the largest convention hall in Kansas. It held 2,000 people. They had baseball games, political speeches. Um, there was actually a roller rink inside the building. It was just down the street at 732 Commercial Street. This house was built on the hill in town. The rich people in Atchison did not allow Mr. McIntyre to build his house on their side of town because he was from Ireland and not from here. So he built his house on the hill and there is stained glass all over the house. Most people would have it at the front door or just one window. He has it all over with his name etched on the back side of the house, McIntyre Villa, it's outside, as an FU. It faces the rich people. And he had more money than they did. Interesting. So, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, the front door where you guys came in, actually, there are three or four front doors. And none of those were the front door. The front door is actually through, through a pocket door through here, which the front door is no longer it's no longer there, it's boarded up. There was a decorative front porch that is right here. This used to be the front porch, or the front door. This was the second Mrs. McIntyre. His first wife died after one year. Mr. McIntyre remarried three years later. Her name was Anna. She had three sons from her previous marriage. Her youngest son, Charles, is the only one that moved here with her. After, I'm trying to think, after Mr. McIntyre, after all the McIntyres and Conlins, which was 
Anna's maiden name. After they all passed away, the home became a boarding house from 1925 to 1952. Um, I don't have any information on what happened during the boarding house time frame, but 1952, Isabel Altus, or Goldie, she purchased the home with the hopes of restoring the home from boarding house time frame to kind of what I've done, I believe. She, I, I read in an article that she ran out of funds and kind of just, I want to say let it go, but it kind of, it looked, it needed a lot of work. When um, she sold the house in 1969, she sold the house to Mr. and Mrs. Girardi. They purchased it in 69, moved in in 1976, and they both passed away in the home also. I bought the house from their four children in 2018. So I will walk you through the home and tell you things that I've experienced or tell you things that um, may have to do with the history of the home and we can go from there. Perfect. Oh. Okay, where next? Okay, so let me make sure this is. Well, this right here, I will show you. This has always been the dining room. When the house was built, this kitchen, this used to be the mud room back in the day. So the servants actually lived, there was a two-story carriage house in the backyard, it's now a one-story garage, but the servants lived in the carriage house in the second floor. They would walk around to one of those front doors and it would enter into the kitchen. There is a door, if you'd like to come through here, stand through here. There's a door right here that I don't know if you can see or not. This used to be the kitchen right here. And I just have it locked off when people do spend the night. This, that's my room. So I just, when I spend the night here, I just have my stuff in there. I'm going to eventually open it up because two people did pass away in that room. So this used to be the kitchen. We believe this was probably a hallway. We just have it as tools and little storage. As hallway, as a hallway, we believe it was a hallway going down into the dining room. Mm -hmm. And we can go back through here. And I will. Thank you. Out of all of the... Well, the, it's original woodwork, original wood floors, original fireplaces. There are five fireplaces. This is not original. We believe that's part of the hallway that the servants would come down and enter into the, into the dining room. So paranormal wise, while we're in here, the kitchen is, well, it's super uncomfortable for me. It's, um, if I'm spending the night here by myself, I stay in my room, I lock my door. There's just movement. Um, I say cupboard because I'm old. <laughs> so cupboards or drawers, they'll be wide open. It's always the ones that I've ar already been in. So it makes you second guess yourself. Um, like, did I, pl did I open that? Did I close that? Did I, what's that noise? Um, so the kitchen's very uncomfortable for me. Um, the dining room is just as uncomfortable. We've had an extra face appear in one of the mirrors in the dining room. It's actually appeared right in the beveled part of this mirror. And I'll send that to you. It's plain as day. I wouldn't have, well, I'll just tell you, I wouldn't have believed it if I weren't here. Hmm. And as we walk through, you'll probably see a ton of security cameras so, um, for security, but also it can debunk things. I can say, no, somebody was in the hallway or no, somebody was standing there. I've tried so many times to recreate that and I can't, um, but it's just plain as day another person standing here. They're standing there. So this was, or that's the dining room. This we call Goldie's room or Goldie's parlor. Goldie, who had the house from 1952 to 1969, she passed away in this rocking chair right here. The rocking chair was actually sitting by the fireplace, facing the windows. The kids across the street, there's a building across the street that is a daycare center. It used to be an elementary school, Franklin Elementary School. And the kids would break her windows, call her a witch. They would dare each other to cross the street, touch the house. Um, they were just mean to Goldie. She died with her hand on a pistol, I believe, just protecting herself. Like I said, I've stayed here by myself and you second guess everything. I couldn't imagine being here, just living here for that many years, knowing things are going on in the house, but also kids trying to break in. That's probably why her hand was on the pistol. She died of natural causes when she was 75 in 1969. So this room we just called Goldie's room. There is a room over here and I honestly am not sure what it was used for. <laughs> So I call it the man parlor. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a restroom in here, which obviously wasn't a restroom back in the day. Um, I used to tell these double doors, um, they're sealed up, but I'm assuming maybe this was an office. Um, somebody told me it might've been a viewing room for funerals, that a body would come in double doors and the living were not allowed to exit or enter the same room as the deceased. 
so they would probably enter this room and exit that this way. There were viewings in the home, but I was told they were in a different room. So I'm not really sure what this room is used for. We just have it as, when people do spend the night, there's TV, there's, um, it's just a comfortable room people can sleep in. I used to say this is the least active room, and now I can't say that. <laughs> people, some people think this is one of the most active rooms. You hear a male pacing back and forth in front of the TV. We've had um, voices. The bathroom in here, the, you have to excuse the wallpaper that I tried to remove three and a half years ago. <laughs> that is impossible to remove. But um, the water has turned on by itself a few times, hot water, and I didn't believe it at first, and then I was here one night and it did it, and I'm like, okay, hmm. <laughs> now I get it. Um, children do not like this room. We've had babies in here while I'm giving a tour, and they just scream. They just, there's something about this bathroom. I don't know what it is, but so I can't say this is the least act active room anymore. <laughs> this room over here, am I talking too fast? No, no, okay. no. <laughs> this room is the piano room. Wow. <laughs> So <laughs> it's like a gothic dream. I know it's, it's I know it's <laughs> awesome. I love this room. Um, so I don't know. If, I don't think I've said so far, but we've we've had nine documented deaths. One of them was a suicide. Um, Goldie, who was one of the nine deaths, she was a piano teacher. This is the first thing I brought in the piano. I closed on January 18th, and January 18th I had a piano delivered. That was the very first piece of furniture I had in. Um, I've actually heard the piano playing. It's just one key. It sounds like a doorbell, but our doorbells don't work. So something with the piano. Um, now it's never played played. I'd probably leave if it did. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she was also a classically trained violinist and played in the Denver Orchestra. She worked for the FBI in San Francisco. She was a stenographer at the police department here in Atchison. I cannot find a picture of her anywhere. I have tried and tried, cannot find a picture of her. Can't find a picture of Mr. McIntyre either. Um, now, I understand Mr. McIntyre because some people just didn't like their picture taken, but Goldie, with being in the Denver Orchestra or the FBI, I cannot find a picture. I found books where her name is in it say, stating that she worked for the you know, FBI, but no picture. Um, so that's why there's a piano, and that's why there is a violin. This room here, I ha honestly, I have to say I don't investigate in this room too often. A lot of people do. They, a lot of people investigate this main floor I just prefer the second floor, if you ask me. If we're going for a creep factor, it's the second floor or the basement. But So I'll take you guys upstairs to the second floor. I definitely love the look of this room. <laughs> it, I, I love this room. It's, it's, oh my gosh, yes. And I never have them closed unless it's summer because of the heat. <laughs> but yes, they all work except, well, this one does work. The summer, it swells up, so it's kind of stuck. <laughs> so <laughs> this is, well, I'll, let me start here. This is what used to be the main entrance. The, these were the double doors to the main entrance, the main entrance, um, where the lady was standing on that porch. She was right out this door. This, yeah. okay, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> all right, thank you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, okay. okay. That was paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is, I'm not a psychic, a sensitive, a medium, but I will say that um, when something feels off, it feels off. Um, I've never felt off under here. It just goes all the way underneath the stairs. People give me um, little baby dolls. <laughs> so that's why that's there. And there's another one at the end there. Um, but people have told me that there are children that play hide and seek under here. And we have very clearly heard little girl voices, um, babies crying. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that there are a lot of children here. Well, I don't know any children that have passed away here except for a four day old baby. Other than that, it could have been when it was a boarding house. I'm not sure, but there are, we've picked up quite a few children voices. And so now we'll go upstairs where that noise was. <laughs> <laughs> so before we go up here, you think that this is the creepy part of the house? The second floor? The second floor. Yes, yep. The basement looks like you're gonna get murdered. <laughs> it does, it looks like Silence of the Lambs kind of feel or it feels like that um, but it looks like you're gonna get murdered seven rooms the upstairs though is my favorite least favorite if that makes sense it's just really it's uncomffortable for me I don't like it okay <laughs> so cool. we'll go up here <laughs> the woodwork um, I will say mr. McIntyre I was told that he was very religious very Catholic um, the thinking was 
man is not perfect, only God is. And so I guess the architect type is like um, perfectly imperfect. So like the six banisters, they're all similar, but there's something different about each one. So that's the perfectly imperfect. Um, and I've been told that there's on the outside of the house that there's same kind of design, like everything will be the same and then one little thing will be off. So I haven't found it yet because I look kind of silly staring at the house. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried though. This is the hallway I was telling you that, well, out of the entire second floor, it's the hallway. And it's not because there are creepy babies down there, <laughs> but um, there are creepy babies. This door, it opens by itself. There's no latch. A lot of people do debunk it. If I open up a door down here, it will open up. That's not paranormal. If nobody's here and you hear a, a click click and it opens up all the way, I can't explain it. Um, still not saying it's paranormal, but it's, it's, it's off, it's odd. Um, this room here is a lot of purple. <laughs> this room, I had a storage. I don't know what it was back in the day. I've just had all of my stuff in here. Like I couldn't even open the door. And I would, I put my recorder in here one day and got screamed at, screamed at. And so I cleared it all out the next day and still continue getting screamed at. There's a little girl voice in here that's been, that has been captured saying, are you here to play with me right now? Um, a gentleman who yells a lot. Um, so I'm not sure what it was used for. Maybe an extra room during the boarding house time period. But other than that, I don't know. So that is that room. The room over here, excuse me, is, I call this room, well, I should just call it a sitting room, but I call it Lucy's parlor because my dog's name is Lucy and she's the devil, so she's Lucifer. <laughs> um, but, so people will say, I went to Lucy's parlor. This is Lucy's parlor. Um, a lot of people don't, a lot of people like this room. It's very comfortable for people. Um, I like this room, but the voice is in this room. It's plain as day conversations. People, you hear, shush, 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 shush. that sounds weird to say, but you can hear people having conversations and you cannot make out what they're saying. I slept on this couch here, put my recorder on the coffee table, and there was a man talking in full-on sentences for a good 10 minutes. And it makes me think, this is gonna sound silly, but the movie The Others, where I'm like, am I the dead person? <laughs> right. Sounds weird, but I'm like, am I the dead person? Am I supposed to touch that cat ball? I mean, I don't know. So it's, it's, it's kind of funny, like he's just going about his business and I'm just here. So. Um, we believe this is part of the master back in the day because the master bedroom, there are three rooms connected. You'll have to excuse my painting. I just started <laughs> painting this room. <laughs> this room here is the master and we think all three rooms are connected. Um, okay. um, I don't have many pictures of family members, but this is after Mr. McIntyre passed away in 1902, his second wife, Anna, she continued living here with her youngest son, Charles, her brother Charles, who was a prominent judge in Atchison, and his wife moved in. So we think this is probably the master because it's the only one on the second floor with the fireplace. The four fireplaces are downstairs, one is up here. This is the judge, uh, Judge Conlon. So this was Anna's brother. He is the one that found his nephew Charles after he committed to Um, I'll go back, Mr. Mrs. McIntyre, his second, the second wife, her mother passed away here, her name was Anna. Then Anna passed away here. John passed away here in 1902. Um, after, like I said, after John passed away, Charles moved in. In 1916, Anna McIntyre, the second Mrs. McIntyre, she passed away. In 1918, her son Charles entered the service. He didn't have to enter the service, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure why he did, but he didn't have to enter the service. Um, he entered in 1918, contracted the Spanish flu immediately when he was in France, um, home in 1919. Um, the newspaper article said in 1922 he had supper, he took a headache pill, went upstairs to his room, I don't know which one was his room, I kind of guess, but went upstairs to his room and five minutes later his uncle Charles, which is in the picture here, heard a gunshot. Um, he shot himself in the right temple with a 22 caliber rifle and it lodged in the left side of his brain for two hours and then he died. Died somewhere in the home, I just don't know which room it was in. I'm assuming it is not in any of these three rooms because it's the master. So. There is a shadow person that has been captured. The shadow person was captured in between these two rooms and full on the full body and glowing eyes. 
This hallway is my most uncomfortable part of the entire house. There are shadows, there are voices, the footsteps are insanely loud. They are like um, heavy boots. Like you just, and they're in threes. It's boom, boom, boom. And you cannot tune out the vibration. They come, it comes right up to you. This room here used to be my room when I first bought the house and I would lock it off to people. Um, it's so active, I had to open it up. <laughs> so this room here is now the library. Well, I'm not sure if this side was in this room or if it was in, there's a bathroom here and then there's a bathroom at the end of the hallway that used to be one room when the house was built. Those bathrooms are super active and I can't prove it because there are no cameras in the bathrooms. <laughs> but they're really active. A lot of people refuse to use those two bathrooms. But it could have been when it was in, when that was one room, could have been in this room. It could have been even in the kids room down the end of the hallway. I'm not sure which one. But this room here, the door handle jiggles a lot. Um, I keep the doors closed just because the door handle does jiggle quite a bit. Um, this door is not the easiest to open and it actually does open. It opens about this much, but it's a struggle for even me to open it. Um, so this room here we've had, I just got a recording about two or three weeks ago. I put my recorder on the inside of the room, but behind the door. And it said, you didn't get permission. And it was very robotic. And I do this because it, it was like a tracheotomy voice. Like, you didn't get permission. <laughs> That's gonna sound bad. <laughs> like you didn't get permission. And it was really just like, um, I don't know what, they, I need permission for, but also a little kid say, saying hi, very clearly. Um, so lots of different activity in this, lots of different um, things happening here. Kid voices, the door, male voices, um, shuffling around a lot. Like I was called, I said like a plastic bag, like just somebody was crinkling it up um, in here. The doors and the cupboards open up quite a bit in here. So that's the library. And I'll take you down the hallway to the other bathroom that, do you want me to turn the lights on? Would it no, 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 okay. this is great. Okay. This bathroom here, a lot of people will not use, um, but this bathroom and the other bathroom were one room. This bathroom, I actually put my recorder in here before you guys got here, um, so I don't know if anything's on it. But I do pick, I, it seems weird to put a recorder in the bathroom, but I get yelled at a lot from a gentleman in here. So there's, that's the bathroom. <laughs> a lot of yelling. Lots of yelling. I can. I don't know if anything's on here, but I can try and play it. If you. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just say the bathroom, but oh, now he's creepy. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh my God! Oh, that actually started. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, I'm jumpy. Oh my gosh! Um, so the reason. I say the reason he's here is because the mannequin. So there's a part of the yelling. I can't. There's lots of moving around in there, but I don't know what he's doing. Um. So the mannequin. So wait. So that's. <laughs> I put this in right before you guys got here. No. Yeah, I get yelled at a lot in that bathroom. I don't. Wait. Because I. So when I put it up here, I went downstairs and just laid on that little settee in the dining room. I didn't even come back up here once I put this up. And I put them in, put them in weird spots. Okay, he's still going. So let me, real quick, mm -hmm. you put this upstairs before we got here. Right before you got here, yep. And nobody's been up here. I want to say I put it up about, because I didn't know what time you guys were coming, so I put it in here about 2.45. And yeah, I don't even so know what time it is what? Now. Yeah. 
30, 40 And it's only voice activated, so it's only gonna pick up if something, and I have only been downstairs, the, I've been downstairs the whole time, other than when I put this up here, because it's cooler down there. <laughs> so, well, why, yeah. so why do you think the yelling? I think that that might've been the room he committed suicide in. When I put it there, I said, Charles, is this your room? Or Peter, now Peter was his brother. Um, I get a lot of Peters here. Um, Peter's picture actually flew off of the bookcase. I should have shown you when we were in the library. There is a picture, there are two pictures of um, two guys. One is Peter, one is Fred. Those were Charles's older brothers. Is that the real old? Yeah. The, uh, no, that, that'd be Charles, um, the uncle uh, in this room. And then on the bookcase in the library, there's, it's kind of down some, so you oh. probably didn't see them. One is Fred and one is Peter. So Mrs. McIntyre, the second one who had three sons from a previous marriage, she had Peter, Fred, and Charles. And Charles was the only one that lived here with her. Peter and Fred eventually lived here, but not, they never met Mr. McIntyre. And they didn't die here. Um, Charles did. And that's very clearly a man's voice. Yes. And if you're here oh, yeah. alone, that yes. <laughs> and he's would still be going. physically impossible for you to even make that. Yeah. And I do put them in. Well. I don't know how long he's going to. He's just moving around a lot. Can we walk back into that room real yeah. quick? Yeah. I'm going to use this for the beginning of the documentary. <laughs> yeah. So this is the room where these voices were just recorded. Yep, I actually had it sitting right here. And I just said, Charles, is this your room or Peter? And I shut the door and went downstairs. We do get lots of Stephanie's here, and that makes me a little uncomfortable. But. Yeah, so that's a very eerie voice. Yeah, and that's actually subtle compared to what I normally get. It's normally just screaming, screaming. Um, the shower, sometimes, like this. I've never heard anything <laughs> like that. The shower behind you, I was actually in that shower and there is... Okay. Oh, there's, you know, the bars of soap and then when they start... Is that a whistle? Yeah. Uh, we get lots of whistles. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. So the bar of soap, I was sitting there just oh washing God. my hair and I watched it and he starts just doing this. And there's something about this bathroom. I don't. And, and this is the bathroom people don't like to come into? Yes, a lot of people will not use this bathroom. Mm -hmm. Because or of? If, because of just, they just feel very uncomfortable. Now something mimics people here, like I've heard um, my husband talking to me, I was in the shower and he was out mowing. People have heard me talking to them. Right now, I am I the only person that feels a breeze? I, 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 I did. You just felt a I breeze? Did, I did. Yeah, okay. I just felt a, a breeze. Is there a vent in here? No. And we have no AC. <laughs> I just, okay, I'm glad you I, felt no, it. I, I did. I just felt I a did. breeze. I did. I'm come like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe because you're playing the voice out loud? Maybe so. Because normally I don't play it in here. I play it out there. I mean, I could even put it back and fin we could finish the tour and then see if anything can talk even then. Yeah. Um, has I can anything, do that. Has anything tried to hurt anybody in this room? People have said they've been scratched. I don't know. Um, a girl said, I was actually here the night she she got slapped, but it didn't, she didn't get slapped. She felt the sting, like the after effect, of, and you could see a full on handprint on her cheek. So, oh, very floral. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, that yeah. happens a lot. All of a sudden. Yep. Uh, That's what I was saying, saying too. Yes, that very. happens a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'll put this in here and okay. now it's recording okay. and then we can finish the tour and I can come back up before. I put, an, I have one more of those recorders and I put it in another really weird spot. So, um, here, I'll, excuse me, I'll shut this door just so it doesn't pick us up talking. And okay. then, and then this room here, a lot of people don't like this room. It's the kids room. Um, Ooh. it's warm in here. This is another weird spot to put a recorder, but I put it inside this case. I have it next to Big Bird. Um, this still recording? Oh, it is still recording. So I don't know if it, I put this the same time I put that up. Big Bird is not friendly. <laughs> what do you I mean? didn't, um, well, let's see if he gets, if I get yelled at from him. Um, 
Ich hoffe, es geht. Kind of record. It's the same recorder, but I don't know. I don't think it's the same guy. Mm -mm. And then you can hear me talking. That's the difference. That's. Then I came in here just now and picked it up. So, and because it, it was still recording when. So it wow. could have. Yeah. So and I put it. The reason. Okay. Well, first, a lot of people don't like the stall behind you. Her name. I named her Esmeralda. She has human hair. Um. There was a night here. I, I had a girls' night, and I said, "Are you happy we're in here?" It said, "No, I'm not. Stupid, dumb bitch," and this evil laugh. Well. I would always pay attention to this doll because she's kind of creepy. Well, I came over here once and I noticed that the uh, the blocks, which I had spelled out as McIntyre, um, looked a little just off. So, and it could have been somebody just opening this up, no big deal. Um, so I decided to put my recorder in there and I put it next to Big Bird. And that's how I noticed, that's how I knew Big Bird was, um, something was talking. And I've moved Big Bird and put it, it sounds silly, but inside the birdcage and it still talks. Or I'll put it in that birdcage and it, with the recorder and it will still talk. Um, it doesn't say the nicest things all the time. Well, she called me a stupid dumb bitch. Um, here I've gotten you're dead. Um, somebody thought it said you're next instead of you're dead, which isn't better. <laughs> but um, it said, a lot of people do ask, how do you get to Sesame Street? <laughs> it sounds silly, but Big Bird doesn't like it. Um, he actually said, don't bug me right now when somebody said, how do you get to Sesame Street? Then we asked it again and it said, ask a different question. Um, so that's why I put these in like weird locations because it's not always just in the hallway or just sitting on a table. A lot of times it is, but it's in like just bizarre locations like this. Um, I also like to slide it underneath the library door and sit in the hallway because the door handle jiggles. But that anger, that angry man, that's, that's why I don't like the second floor. Who's the angry man? Yes. And this room has also captured a baby crying. Where did you get this doll? I, okay, so a friend, she messaged me one day and she said, it's on one of those Facebook weird thrift store finds. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm thinking road trip because it was in Arkansas. And I guess she thought I wouldn't do it. So the next day I made her come with me to Arkansas. And that's, and you <laughs> it just, it I did. It just had a little um, handwritten note on her that said human hair. Um, and it said possibly haunted. And then it said human hair, eight, uh, late 1800s marionette. Hmm. Yep. And, and, why, and why don't people like this room? They don't like this room, um, I think because of Esmeralda. A lot of people get touched in this room. They get their hair pulled, their butt pinched. Um, yep. And there's lots of whistling. Now this marionette head looks like he's whistling. I don't know if it's him. Oh, um, interesting. But it's, but just like you heard the other whistle in the, you know, I'm not sure. Yeah. Do you think any of that yelling could be something that was brought in with one of these dolls? It possibly could. I don't bring things in because I want, because they're haunted. I don't want to mess with what's in the house because I like what's here. And I don't want people thinking it's things that I brought in. I want mm -hmm. people knowing it's the house. Um, but it could possibly. I mean, I, now I know that things can attach themselves to anything. Mm -hmm. So um, I have brought things in like upstairs. There's a set of furniture that was from a mortuary that sat there for 40 years. I don't know. Something's attached to it. I have no idea. But that's but the things before I brought this stuff in, the footsteps have always been here. I've always heard those. The doors opening up have always happened. Um, lots of the voices, the EVPs we've captured are because of somebody's asking me to check a record or a camera. So I, like I said, I have cameras all over. And the only reason we captured the stupid dumb bitch comment was because somebody asked me to check a camera and I did the evil laugh we've captured in four rooms this room the master bedroom the basement and the dining room only because somebody asked me to check the camera we have not heard it with our own ears wow and then something in the basement said I always I walk around going hello because why not <laughs> and something in the basement I go oh look the cat ball's going off hello and then you hear something very loud go hello <laughs> and I have that I'll send over to you it's it's crazy, but we don't hear it with our own ears. The baby crying, we did hear with our own ears. So, wow. 
which is very uncomfortable to hear a baby crying <laughs> when there's no baby here. <laughs> so this but is yeah, probably so. the room people are the most freaked out by. This one, yes, but I actually, if I were to, when I sleep here and I have some friends over, this is my most comfortable room. I like this room the most out of the entire second floor. Really? Yes, yeah. I like it. I don't like these stairs. Now these stairs are super uncomfortable at nighttime. These are the servant stairs and it is pitch black at nighttime. But, but out of the entire second floor, this is my favorite room. Um, and I, it's just, it's this hallway. It's the hallway. And you'll see when I send, I'll show you the, the, the shadow person, that's, and you can't, I, when I hear by myself, I will wear headphones. Um, if I'm spending the night by myself, I will wear headphones all night long, but you can't tune out the vibration. When it's walking up to you and you feel the floor vibrating, you can't tune it out. Wow. So yeah, that's why I don't like the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> now up here, I guess I should turn the lights on. It's really hot. <laughs> but the attic, has never made me uncomfortable until about a year ago. And this is the attic. Wow. <laughs> this, this is what happens creepy. when you buy a lot of furniture. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's crazy. Crazy. Oh my goodness. So the attic has, um, I find the most activity in this. It seems bizarre out of this, out of this entire huge attic. I find the most activity over here in this back corner. There is a, an, again, an angry person. Um, I get yelled at a lot, um, but something's back there. Um, we do hear furniture being dragged across the floor quite a bit when we're on the second floor. Um, nothing will have moved. You hear female voices a lot, but they're all whispering. You have um, a cat. You have a cat. <laughs> there's a ghost cat. Did you hear it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you did? Okay. I did. Yeah. Just now, over here. Wait. I did too. You did? Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, I yeah. actually get it. Here, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. No, I definitely heard it. Like a here. faint meow. Yeah, a meow. Yeah. And people, and I've actually <laughs> felt it wrap its tail around my ankle on, in the library. Um, people have messaged me when they're here, they're in the basement, and they're like, do you have a cat? And I'm like, not a real, I mean, not a live cat. I get that sounds weird too, but... And they said, no, they felt it in the basement. Hmm. So all the floors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's funny. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So yep, no, I didn't. <laughs> a dark, angry over here. Yes. Uh, any yeah. ideas who or what? That might no, be? Um, I will say that the women that we've captured up here, the voices, are always whispering. They're loud, but they're whispering. They're like, I'm here. Or they, a lot of women get shushed. I was sitting on the green chair here and another a friend was sitting next to me and something st stuck their head like right in between us and shushed us um the there was one evening um there was an event here and after everyone went to sleep i came up here and i slept on the green chair put my recorder on the table and it sounded like a full-on argument two males yelling at each other then you hear um get back here and then you hear the footsteps walking away and it was i was like I didn't hear any of that. I mean, I heard shuffling around, but I did not hear that. Wow. Um, so yeah, um, people tell me like they've heard, they've seen chairs move. They have. I've never seen something like that. I'm good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm good. But um, yeah, uh, the women. It's. I don't think I've heard any children up here, but I have heard women whispering and men yelling. Any uncomfortable? Uh... Yes, I don't like it up here anymore. I used to be really okay up here, and there's one night. Um, I wasn't okay. I called my son up and I'm like, just talk to me because I want to put a recorder up here, but I, I didn't want to come up by myself. So he's just on the phone with me and I'm like, what the F is that? What the F is that? And I could see shadows just moving around up here and it's really uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable up here. And that was when you decided you didn't like it? That's when I decided I didn't like it up here. Just <laughs> yeah. seeing shadows? Seeing shadows, yep. Yeah. You also see shots of light, like especially in this back corner. Um, it It's not a car light. I mean, they do have windows up here, but there's a difference in the car light and the pulsing just on the wall. Um, it happens on the second floor also. The basement it happens, but they're more colored lights, like red or green or blue, which is really bizarre. But yeah, the hell? did you hear I heard, that? I heard that, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell that was, sorry. <laughs> okay, and now my face is like all, right. <laughs> what the hell was that? Is there any uh, interesting okay. history up here? <laughs> Like, why, would okay. it, why would this area be haunted? Any history? Nothing? In the house? Or, or, just, or just this attic area? I don't know. Other, when it was a boarding house, um, a lot. There, I'm not a psychic medium, sensitive, any of that. But we've had people say that there are men that did not do nice things to women. 
and they that's why women are always shushing I am like what the hell was that <laughs> <I'm> sorry mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god um so thank you house <laughs> <laughs> um that they have they're keeping them quiet so I I mean I don't have any documentation there's also no documentation on this but quite a few people a lot of people have said that there's a hanging in the attic they also think it's over here now the tower if there was a hanging it's a really cool tower i mean i can show you um actually sure. part of the history this is really cool um the the architect architect yeah the architect who designed the house his name is w angelo powell and he designed the washington monument really yes yep he also designed the funeral car for zachary taylor <laughs> and he designed this house so this is the tower where people wow. say that somebody might have hung themselves, but honestly, a lot of people believe it's over in that back corner. This is a. Is this a bell tower? Like, was there a bell I don't think it. I don't think there was a bell. No. no. Mm -mm. I mean, it does look like a good place to uh, <laughs> be like hanged. It. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know? I'm like, yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, it feels mm -hmm. mansion right here. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? We should just yeah. sit over here. Yeah. <laughs> it does. <Wow. laughs> Oh, where goodness. is that furniture that you brought in from the mortuary? Oh, the furniture is actually over here where we were standing. <laughs> of course. It, yep. So the two skeletons. This is, Okay, this should tell you how often I come up here by myself. I don't. But last Valentine's Day, I was decorating. We are having a, a Valentine party. And I was... So it's the yellow furniture here. All this yellow furniture. This sat in a mortuary for 40 years. Um... But I was decorating for Valentine's Day and I heard my friend coming up the stairs and I was just waiting for her because I could hear her walking up the stairs. I waited and then I just called her. She was in the kitchen. She goes, I haven't left the kitchen. And I'm like, I'm coming down. <laughs> so it does get really uncomfortable. Things like you can feel them following you down the stairs, following you up the stairs. You can just be here and you can hear something coming up the stairs or whatever the heck that was earlier. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is the furniture that sat in the mortuary. Eerie looking furniture. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I'm crazy. We can go down to the basement if that's awesome. the last that is, stop. Yeah, that is. Okay. Yeah, it is roasting. It is. Oh my gosh. Should I this door? Oh, yes, please. It will make the hallway miserably hot. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and I will take you guys down to the basement. We'll go this yeah. way. Now, these are the circuit stairs. And. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a big difference just leaving that attic. Oh my yeah. goodness, yes. <laughs> so the servant stairs to me at nighttime, I will not use. I won't use them at all. I don't have to hear anything. I just, it is pitch black. It is super uncomfortable. Um, so this is the basement. It will smell like a basement. <laughs> um, but there are seven rooms and watch your step. <laughs> I will turn off this dehumidifier. Wow. Oh, this is oh my spooky gosh. down here. Wow. So out of the seven, I, I start on this side. There's, there's only, there's two rooms on this side. So I've honestly never really investigated this side. A lot of people have, and they don't like this room at all. At all. Um, um, I'm not sure why. I really, I don't know. I normally just investigate on the other side because it's to me the most uncomfortable. I can tell you what people have told me about the basement and it's there were possibly illegal medical procedures on women, illegal um, adoptions, um, illegal liquor sales, no documentation, I don't know. But this room that we're standing in, this is another room we heard a baby crying very clearly. Um, the rooms around the corner to me are the most uncomfortable. So there are these two rooms. There's a room here that is has been really weird lately. Huh. So this really does look like a murder. Doesn't it? Murder. Looks like you're gonna get murdered. It does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. It's crazy. It is crazy. This room here, what's bizarre, and I if it's not paranormal, I want someone to tell me what it is. But um, I came out here one night uh, because my friend and I are crazy and we play Yahtzee in the middle of the night. We just put our headlamps on. <laughs> so <laughs> I came in this room and this bar was like that so no big deal i took a picture of it because that was weird and i put it back two days later the bar was back um which was weird because no one had been here so it's only happened three times where the bar has been here but now something's digging now i will say no one has been here since i was here on sunday 
I left Sunday with a friend. There were starting to be holes here. They're deeper than they were on Sunday. What? Something's digging. There are no track marks. We have no critters, <laughs> but something's digging. And it looks like it would have been this bar because, well, it just looks like it's perfect fit, but no one's been here. So right here. Yes. Plus it looks like this could have been like a cage or something. It's perfect. There's like little nail holes. Mm -hmm. So that is why, and it seems bizarre that I have a little baby here with the cat ball. Somebody posted, um, does the cat ball even work? Okay, somebody posted, and it's not easy for it to leave where it's sitting, but somebody posted a week ago Sunday that the cat ball actually came out of her lap and went uphill eight to 10 inches. I've not seen it. They have not sent me a video, so I don't know. <laughs> they just said it did it. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. And if somebody tells me that, that no, this is from, maybe there's a water leak, maybe there's something, and then I, you know, I won't say it's paranormal, but until then, I don't know what it could be. People hear metal scraping, and it kind of sounds like this. Um, I'm not sure, but this something has really been hard. digging. It is really hard. hard. And like I said, people, I tell people, you know, look for little track marks. You're not gonna find any, but if you do, I mean, let me know. <laughs> But yeah. Those are obviously holes from it. Yes, and they were punched. not there. And you can tell when it's fresh dirt. Um, I do not have a camera in this room because I know that it will stop. And that sounds weird, but it will stop. And I people tell me, you know, well then dig. And I'm like, I'm not going to dig because I want to see what happens. <laughs> um, obviously something's digging. I just don't know what. So I do ask when I'm, you know, have my, when I have people over, I'm like, what'd you bury in my basement? <laughs> Is there head down there. It looks well, like the size of a head, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like there could be one. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. They almost had yeah, have a big boom with it. Maybe your air there conditioner. What? Like a shh. Oh. Air, the AC On the floor. Like a... That was really loud. Was loud. How did I not hear it? Why? Because I'm loud. You were talking. Oh. I, oh my god. Oh well, the next thing I was going to say is there's no, um, well, you're gonna see cobwebs if you look up there, but there's no subflooring. So it's very easy to hear people talking upstairs, people walking upstairs, or whatever the heck that was. Mm -hmm. um, about two weeks ago, I was giving a tour, and another tour was supposed to show up at a certain time. Well, it was like 10 minutes before they were supposed to be here, and we could hear them talking upstairs. I'm like, oh crap, they got here early. So I went upstairs, and they weren't there, and I'm like, hello, hello. And then I thought they had just gone up to the second floor. So I went up to the second floor, no one was here. And the group actually had their phone recording and they captured the voices, but no one was up there. So that's really weird that, um, okay. All right, boy, this house is just, <laughs> thank you house. Yeah, even this floor, I was gonna say this whole, cause people will comment, but if it were an animal, a raccoon or anything, you'd have like actual, well, you know, that's like, Yes, yes, you and there aren't any. have any, so it's right, and like I'm the only, Right, mm -hmm. and I've been the only one, so, okay, Friday night I had some friends over and one of the girls made the comment, Okay, I'm taking a mental note of what it looks like because she was coming back the next day for the event on Saturday night. So I came down here Saturday during the day, but I walked right past it, I looked, and I just kept going. She comes down here and she's like, it looks like fresh dirt. And I go, that's what I thought. It looks like fresh dug dirt from the night, you know, different from the night before. But um, I did have a camera over here just for a few days and nothing. So I took it down and then that's when it looked like fresh dirt. Weird. So I don't know what's going on in this room. <laughs> This room is, if there were illegal medical procedures, um, I do. I found a doctor bag from the early 1900s with the obstetric equipment in it. Um, my husband thinks I'm weird, but I think it's business. But um, there's, I'm not sure what all is down in the basement. I can, I can say that. A lot of people don't like the basement. I mean, first of all, it does look very creepy. There are seven rooms. Um, when you hear a baby crying, that's kind of creepy. Men, again, screaming. Women, whispering. Women, moaning. The I'm in pain moan, not the good moan. <laughs> so it's, it's uncomfortable. I mean, when you're hearing things like that, um, but you're also hearing little kids say, I love you, don't leave me. Um, so I'm not sure what took place in the basement. I can just tell you what other people have told me took place. It feels like bad energy. You said bad energy? Bad energy, yeah. I just feel kind of like I don't feel well, kind of. Yeah, a, spe a lot of people get sick in this room here. Um, this room, we have actually people get Ooh. sick in this room. Um, I don't find it in this room. I find there are two more rooms on the other side I'll show you. Those are the two rooms I don't like. 
But this from here, this is Charlie McCarthy, which nobody knows who he is except for me. And <laughs> one other lady. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you guys do know who he is. Yeah, for sure. Yay! Okay, good. Uh, it was me and an 80 year old, and I'm like, okay, that's the only two people that know who Charlie McCarthy is. <laughs> but I put my reporter on him quite a bit and then go into another room, and I get quite a few responses. Um, sometimes it's kid responses. One time he said, I said, hi, Charlie, and walked away and said, my name is Jake. I don't know. <laughs> but I haven't gotten that since then. But this room here, a lot of people don't like. I honestly believe it's the two rooms over here. I'll show you. Um, somebody did see a full body apparition in one of the rooms. Um, this here, it seems kind of a weird thing to, to point out, but if no one, it's weighted. So when I turn on the light or off the light, I guess I should point out what I'm talking about, it barely swings. So when I come down here and it's swinging, it's, I mean, I'll just show it. So if I turn the light on or off, I'm like, it might swing. It's not gonna, well, okay, I'm just make myself a liar here. But um, when it, sometimes it's just swinging and it's. Yeah, well, more it's like, right. it's like a more like that. Right, yes, yes. I never thought of it like that. Yeah, when it's swinging like this and it's, and it's just, yeah. So it's kind of weird that that happens. Um, this is the only one with the, um, a door and a lock. I actually did find a key once kind of sticking up from the dirt. And I've had the house about a year and a half at this point. And um, my husband came down here and said, um, a key just showed itself. And I'm like, what? And he's like, a key just showed itself. So I come downstairs and sure enough, you can see a little key and I Googled it and it's from the late 1800s. Um, and it was for a padlock. This door is the only one that has a lock on it. Um, didn't mean the previous owners didn't have that padlock. So I asked them and they said they'd never seen it before. So I'm not sure what, why it just appeared, but this is the room somebody saw a full body apparition in. Um, this is the room I don't like. You'll see a bunch of chairs. We had an event here on Saturday. So, um, but this room here, this is where we've had a lady, ladies moaning and also saying they're in pain. So um, I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure what took place down here. It's just, these are these two rooms here are my least favorite rooms in the basement. Why do you say that? I said, because I don't know something and I don't really feel anything. But it's just, I think because I heard the moaning, I, I heard the moaning and then somebody told me about the full body apparition in the room next to you. But also when you guys are here and you have all the lights off, sun's down, you cannot see your hand in front of your face. You can't see yourself at all. And it's, it's uncomfortable. It feels really off. This curtain here is the only one I've seen move before. Um, and it's so dark down here, I focused on that curtain because you can see a little bit of the street light and something stood right in front of it and it blocked out the left hand side and then the shadow went across the ceiling. And the two people I were with, they bolted upstairs. <laughs> so, and they wouldn't come back down, so I couldn't investigate. <laughs> so I don't know what that was, but um, it was, they didn't like it. So there's some freaky yeah. activity down here. Yeah, yeah. There is a, um, a video a guy sent me he was here for two nights and the first 45 minutes he captured 16 growls in this room. 16, 16 growls in 45 wow. minutes. I've heard the growls. It's not, and when I've heard them, it's just in your ear, just like, <gasps> and that's, you just hear something in your ear growling at you. Why would the basement be so active? Any I don't know. No, nope. other than what people told me they think might have happened in the basement, I have no idea why it would be active. It's like a dungeon. It is like a dungeon. It is. And I don't know if basements were built like this with like seven rooms. It just seems kind of I've never really seen weird a to me. Like yeah, it's, it's like a catacomb. It's like a crypt. They're, they're yeah. segment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they close off. Yeah. Put some in here, close them in. Yeah. And we were here Saturday night and we could hear like, it's so like right now, I don't really feel things, but when you do feel it, you feel it. Like I'm sweaty, but it feels like uncomfortable sweaty. Like cold sweaty <laughs> but this is also where somebody felt a cat um the baby crying in the other in the first room we went into but when we were in this room saturday night we could hear like somebody scratching on wood like two rooms over and i don't mm. know what i mean i'm not gonna go check on it because <laughs> that's where you get murdered <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> oh the, let the blonde go in she where did the noise come from <laughs> yeah, yeah nope not happening <laughs> so that's yep that's the basement it's I, and a lot of people don't understand why I think the second floor is the most uncomfortable for me, but it really is. Even though as creepy as this basement is, I would rather be in the basement than on the second floor. 
any advice for us tonight since I'm this is it for the tour right <laughs> we're done this is it for the tour yeah I would uh, it does it sounds kind of bizarre but I do ask um, okay so that you saw the baby dolls at the end of the hallway that we were just at um, I did hear a girl say where's my baby if there were illegal adoptions, I do say, I found your baby. Sometimes that stirs things up. Sometimes I ask, did you bury, what did you bury in my basement? Um, sometimes that gets things going. Um, sometimes ignoring them <laughs> gets things going. But I have noticed my personal, what, what I've noticed for me anyway is if I, ask a, if I ask questions, I'm asking in a different room. Like I will sit in the hallway. I love sitting in the hallway, just outside the library door and sliding this underneath the door. So it'll answer questions, but it's not next to me. So they don't have to be right by me. Um, so I do ask that. I do sometimes say, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in the hallway, just sitting here by myself. Can you walk a little closer? I can't hear you. And sometimes you can, fe I mean, you'll feel the footsteps if, if they walk close to you. So can we borrow one of those tonight? Those recorders? If you don't tell anybody, but yes, um, I will. Yes. Because that that it? voice, I've never crazy? heard <laughs> anything close to that. Yeah, you, we've got yes, all uh, the gear. Yes, yes. Uh, I've never let anybody borrow them, but I. Yeah. But yes, yes. Is that one that's written about that? It's really good for capturing EVPs. Yes, that's yes, why it's they're the Panasonic DR60. Okay, yep. yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. really, and they're they're not that easy to find. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I've never even yeah. seen no. one of those before. I mean, I have yeah. nice Olympic, Olympus ones for dictation, for patient mm -hmm. care. Oh, nice. Very sensitive. But they're newer. You know, they're new. Yeah. And they're, but so, it's no. interesting to have older. You know, that's no, mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder if this is It's almost one. like the movie uh, White Noise. Oh, with I Michael Keaton. I've seen that. We should go check yeah. that other one before we oh, end, let's yeah. do. end let's this do whole that. thing, yes. too. Oh, yeah. Let's do <laughs> Should I go on up and just grab, should we grab it or do we? Let's just listen to it in there. Okay. That's a perfect so, um, time. So you can tell how loud we, or I am. Let me see, I'll fast forward until we get out of the bathroom. Not happy. <laughs> it's frightening. I'm like, I'm speechless. It's frightening. It is. It is. It is. So you can hear me talking. The difference in where my voice is. I think that's when we were going up to the attic. Mm hmm And you can. You can hear like rather, 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 yeah, rather, yeah. You know. And you can hear yeah. us coming down. It's interesting <laughs> showing how how it only is a voice activated. Yes. We were going, like, there's like 20 minutes between each of those yeah. voices of us. Yes. Is this only voice activated? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, Somebody no, told no. me I can. it can do either. I don't, I just leave it at voice activated because, yeah. and then it stopped. It got full. So, wow. yeah. That is, so I'll leave this, I'll leave it for you guys and I'll show you how to, um, you yeah, can erase whatever's on here. You can, cause I, if I, if I had something I wanted saved, I would already hit a saved button. And the only way I can get the recordings off of here is if I have to, I have to record my phone recording, uh, hit yeah, record. This because, microphone yeah. will pick it up perfectly Oh, good. For us. Perfect. Wow. Perfect. So yeah. yeah so we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll. But yeah, this from here, it's, I tell, um, so even though it doesn't, See, it's not the easiest to open, but the handle, I mean, you can hear it sometimes, just like it's really loud. Um, sometimes it sounds like something hits the door as you walk past it, or if you're in there, sometimes something hits the door on, 
Um, but I will say the hallway is my favorite, but it's also the hottest. Um, so if you keep the doors closed, it will keep the rooms cool. But if it, if the doors are open, it won't cool the hallway. It'll just make the rooms hot. So if that makes any sense. But I do, obviously, we'll pick up also the AC units. So you'd have to turn those off to pick these up. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> So the like, door just opened when we were walking by. Yeah. And I and just I, paused. Of course, see? I'm telling you. That's what happens. Yes, yeah, that's what happens. Yes. I, but I did film you shutting it on, on camera. Yeah. Because Ivan said, look, it's even a struggle kind of to open. It's, <laughs> of course. All right. Alrighty. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we just got our tour. They went downstairs, and I'm up here with my mother, Mary. Hello. That is really, we were just talking about those screams. It, I don't have any explanation. I have no, it's just, you can't even believe it. It's shocking. That's why I was like, we have to use these tonight. That's lucky. Let's go it's over here in his room. Wow, I mean, this is, she's put so much work into it. Mm -hmm. All this furniture that she brought in, it's yes, crazy. She's so nice too. But it's Mary and I right here. <laughs> Before we come back tonight, is there anybody in here? Who is it? What do you want? You sure are talkative and seem kind of angry. We're coming back tonight to see you. No, I mean, I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> he's probably in there now. Yeah, like, right. He's, look at it, it's kind of dark. He's hiding in Open there. Open it. <laughs> to whoever's in here, Charles, Charlie, if that's you, or if you're a completely different evil screaming entity, we're coming back in a couple hours. When the sun goes down, I want you to come out. Especially whoever is in this bathroom, because obviously you're angry. There's something wrong. Tonight we're going to be listening, and we want you to give us an answer. So, I forgot my hair's up like this. I like it. It looks good. Okay. Aww. Well, all right, everybody. We'll be back in a couple of hours. Look at this little guy in there. I know. Oh, look, he's staring right at you. Ooh. You see that? <laughs> yeah, I do. And then the nun's down there, too. Oh yeah, that nun looks in like she's in a daze. <laughs> that little kid is very creepy. He really is looking at you <laughs> too. Hello, little feller. What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the Paranormal Files. Tonight we are here in Atchison, Kansas once again. Just last night we were at the Sally House, which is one of the most infamous haunted locations in the United States, supposedly haunted by a demon. That episode is not going to be out at the time that we're putting this episode out um, because there are things still developing with that story and interviews we're conducting. But we're here tonight at the McIntyre Villa. But you've, you've already seen the interviews and everything that we, we did here. Very interesting place. This, the screams, absolutely terrifying to hear. But we're just going to get right into it tonight. We're here on the bottom floor. Well, technically the main floor. The basement is below us. But we're going to start out. Mary, if we come over here. Everybody say hi to Jeff and Courtney over here. Hey. So we're going to start once again with... Um, a almost seance of sorts, kind of like we did at the Sally House, which yielded some really good results. But right here we've got one of these plasma balls. We're going to see if we can get something to interact with this thing by touching it. It's just cool, <laughs> you know, trippy. But we're going to turn on the REM pod, the ovulus, the K2s, and the spirit box, and also that voice recorder. And the, uh, this is a Panasonic. DR60, which is like a really 
old, very expensive. She's uh, borrowing two of these to us tonight. So we'll pick up hopefully some inter interesting EVPs. And this is a new spirit box we're going to give it go as well. Mm -hmm. To remind you guys, right here behind us, this is a rocking chair where a former resident of the villa died. She actually died while she was sitting in that chair. And she's supposed to be one of the most active ghosts here in the house. So hopefully we can get her to come out by a... What? We got to turn the Oh, yeah. So hopefully we can get her to come out while we're sitting right here. And, uh, yeah, you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, yes. Mary, right, are you ready? You bet. <laughs> Here, you know, okay, so we've got a camera over there. Everyone say hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> got this camera right here that we're going to be filming with. You can see, like Courtney was pointing out, look at how much energy this thing just puts out. It's almost like a battery for spirits, just having this here. But um, let's just start by saying real quick. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of energy. Yeah. If there is anybody here in the McIntyre house, the villa, we would love to talk to you tonight. So feel free to come out and let us know you're here. You can run around, you can bang on stuff, you can use your voice. My name is Colin. And I'm Courtney. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mary. I'm going to turn this REM pod on. Do you want to put it back there, maybe? Why is it on? Yeah, because it's too close to this. It's... Okay. Someone's here. I also have a box right here that you can speak into. I want to talk to the screaming man. Can you come sit by us? Can you step away from the table? Move even further. How about also if you touch oh. this? Oh. oh, look at look at that's related to this. Oh. That's trippy science. Like look at that. Let's put this down here. It's probably that. Let's see if I can. I've turned the ball off. Let's uh, let's just ask some questions. Yeah, I have I have the uh, this sensitive EEP thing going right now. It's voice activated only. So if you're here, Black. can you tell us your name into this device? Could you come and touch this REM pod or this? K2 we have here. Ida. 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 It's an older name. Okay. Who is Miss Isabel? Was the woman that died. Mm -hmm. okay. Ida, if you're here, can you speak into this device here and tell us what you did in your life when you lived here on Earth? What did you do for a job? Want to have something, Mom? Can you tell me your name? Why are you so angry? Look at that one. Right when that noise. 
Are you coming over? Come over, you can come over farther. This box will pick up your voice if you just talk. Could you step over to where we are and come talk into this box or touch any of these devices? Tell us your name or how old you are? How about if we put this like over so it's like it might be kind of interesting for them to see this thing like but farther Maybe, like, away the ground or mm -hmm. something just just to suck up That's weird. creepy to see too because what? It's so weird. far away. Leave it over there. That's just weird. That proves. That's mm -hmm. that, oh, jeez. That's just, that's even like. See, I always had yeah. the idea that a REM pod just went off when something was super close to it, right. but right. it kind of can pick up something really mm -hmm. far away. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that is yeah, true. Especially that. Like if something comes into the room, mm -hmm. I could pick up that energy. Because that was a few feet away and it was still going off. Right. That's mm -hmm. really interesting. Inner. Slur. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Started right now. There is some voices in there, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I was thinking. Okay, just Could we're gonna do a session it. right now before we start moving around the house. Yeah, I'm just gonna delete it. I'm just delete it. Okay, do you want to do it? You want to start it? To the screaming man, we heard your voice earlier. Why are you so angry? We listen back. So, 
part there of it. There it is. There's that, that was, little bit of. That's the. Yeah. yeah that's the. That's it. That's the growling, that's the growling yelling. Guy. Yeah. That's crazy though, because we were doing that earlier, and the earlier clips were literally like, ha, ah, ah, and that's the same device, and it's not making those noises consistently. Proves that that's really something that it's capturing upstairs. The, the thing, thing that happens with this though is it's voice activated. It's, that's why our questions come so quick after mm -hmm. each other. Okay. Well, how many growls did she say she counted? That guy said he heard like 16. Yeah, that was crazy. Should we just like so sit in silence yeah. for yeah. a little while? Well, I think like you said, we did it the way you would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just yeah. Give it, give it a little more time, maybe. Okay, here we go. We're going to do another EVP session. So also, I want to add that was really interesting because there is the first growl of the night, kind of like what we were hearing earlier. Courtney hadn't even heard any of those growls yet. But it seemed like Mary. That was mm -hmm. the one person that responded to. Maybe, maybe it is the children. Mm -hmm. and I'm yeah, adult angry child. Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I've dealt with them before. Oh, good one, good one, good one. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's have Mary start this one off. Okay. Can you tell us your name, or just tell us? why you want to stay in this house if you're in the house full time what's your favorite part of the house like a room tell me where you like to hang out once again angry man can you give me a really loud scream or tell me why you're angry what's the deal with that also, is there anywhere we shouldn't go in the house? Any room where you don't want us to go? Are you one of the spirits that are attached to the doll upstairs? Have you been here long? I'm gonna go back to the growls. Whoever does the growls here, can you just do some growls in here? And if you wanna say who you are, you can do that as well. Tools, page, gone, music. Who was it that just touched this K2 meter right here? Do you want to hear some music? Disregard. Disregard, hmm. Disregard the music, I guess. Mm -hmm. Why do you choose to stay here in this house? Kind of hot in here too. Peace. Turn this off. Sure. Piece of the puzzle. Like piece of pizza. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that was one off. Okay. Just tell us why you want to stay in this house. Back 
you want to say who you are, you can do that as well. I want to just touch this K2 meter right here. Do you want to use it? Why do you choose to stay here in this house? Oh. It definitely yeah. was whispering. What uh -huh. was that like yeah. screech yeah. sound? Yeah. Oh, just that's, wait till you hear the screams whistle, upstairs. Yeah, a oh whistle God. screech. She, uh, she said that was it gets crazy. picked up. Well, we can analyze that later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We like to analyze our stuff at home just so we can maximize the amount of time that we spend investigating in these places. So we're going to pack all this stuff up. Time to get rolling, everybody. I'm going to go up to the okay. second story yep. to face the screaming man face to face. What do we want to bring? Everything. <laughs> Before we go up to the second story to confront the screaming man, I wanted to try a little experiment because the spirit was just asking us for music. Uh, I used to play piano, I haven't played in a long time, but I'm going to play a tune. We're going to run the voice recorder and what the hell? Corey's got another date? Sorry. I'm bad. He's just so cute. Hey, hands <laughs> off. I know my back is this way, my eyes are not facing you, but no bones about it. I don't really want to make a bone joke, but. <laughs> okay, Jeff. I'm going to have Jeff roll on that. Okay, it's rolling. Okay. If you wanted music, I'm going to play some music for you. Can you tell me what you think about it? What do you think about that? Do you want me to keep playing? What's your favorite song? Do you want me to keep playing? Okay, I'm going to play one more time, but you better talk to us. Well, you ready to go upstairs? Yep. Let's go. Okay, everybody. We're going to head up now to the upstairs. Hello. If anybody's up here, we want to talk to you. Ooh. 
feel this thing. Mm, nice and cool. Ooh, I'm not gonna have to turn it off. <laughs> Dang it. This is the hallway she doesn't like. Never seen it. Yep. Yeah. Wasn't this door shut earlier, Mary? It was totally shut. Oh. Is it open? Okay. Oh God. And we locked it after ourselves. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's when she said that it can open. Oh, that's creepy. Is it all open? Yeah, it's all the way open. Oh, wow. Oh, we'll have to turn okay. that air conditioning off in there. Oh! What was it? Oh. When I stepped on that, you hear that tapping? Yeah. This sucks. We gotta turn this off. Feels so good. But she said people don't like that one. Oh, you can really hear that. What? There was a creak, a whole big step here, like an actual whole wood creak. Someone stepping right here. Turn that light off. Who's down there? Is that the man who likes to scream? Why do you like to scream? Are you guys whispering? No. Really? I, I heard whispering behind you, Jeff. I, oh my god. I thought you guys were talking. Hello? Where are you? Okay, here we are on a little break, restroom break, setting stuff up on the second floor. Mary's got her Coke Zero. Coke Zero and some water. And what's behind you? This creepy guy. Oh my gosh. This, I, I thought it was an old time swimming suit at first. She said it was a World War II yeah. outfit. Yeah. And somebody put a glow stick on him. He's, that's a scary looking guy. Oh god. That's kinda scary. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna record on the floor now. I already I'm just matching it up for the video. Okay, we've got that set up. Jeff has the SLS. We're gonna run that same recorder. You've seen us using it this whole time. We haven't really gotten any screams, just one downstairs really. So let's see if we can pick him up so in this room. Yeah. Okay, beginning the session. We've got this. Let's all sit here and you can shoot that down that way. So you guys all take a seat. I'm gonna go turn the lights out. To uh, night vision. Yeah, I mean next to Oh, oh, look, look, oh, look, look, look. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Are you in the bathroom? Why do you like the bathroom so much? Let's just sit here in silence for like three minutes. <sighs> Can you knock on something? Make a noise for us? We're gonna sit in silence for a minute or two. Can you give us some sort of a sign that you're here? I've got this mirror here too, just in case.
Could you tell us who you are? Why don't you like women? Would it bother you if Mary or I went, in, went inside the bathroom? First of all, why don't we just listen to that session? Okay. Maybe you guys can okay. spend time in here sure. and Jeff and I can go to the attic. Okay. Sure. okay. We can all go to the basement? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully we capture some screams okay. this time. Can we look and see what the volume can go Knock on something, make a noise for us, we're going to sit in silence for a minute or two. Can you give us some sort of advice that you're here? Can you make a noise for us, or use your voice to say something? Or are you on the floor? grunts though yeah oh. and notice how that doesn't happen downstairs this is no. the same device in that room what wow. is it are you in that bathroom right now Jeff and I sit in the break room for a second and you guys just do 10 minutes on this and then we just listen to it right away. You ask a couple questions and then, yeah, I mean like, what, like... Is this supposed to be a man in there? <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll yeah, give you guys the camera. Okay. Because still but I'd, show up. Yeah, I'd wait Should like... We? On the top here? Oh, 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 here. Oh. Uh-huh, yeah, we're invading your space. Come up right here. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. She doesn't like that we're in here. Well, what, was what, was what was that? What was that? What was that? What? I heard that. What? It sounded like a... But, uh, the, some kind of uh, chime yeah. or a bell. Yeah. What was this? 
Oh, it's oh, turning on. Okay. Is it fine? <laughs> 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 We're free. Oh, <laughs> 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 Please oh, relay what? You're okay. okay. I gotta put this on top. I'm sorry about that. Uh, how the hell do you get Why this? Just... I'm trying to get it to tilt up, buddy. <laughs> look at this. Colin and Jeff <gasps> drama. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? That was like a vibration or something. Okay, you got you have the thing recording in there, the voice recorder? I have it right here. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna shut the door. Enjoy your time. Remember, wait about a minute between questions. Okay. Alright. By the way, I love you, mother. Aww. In case I never see you again. In case this man is a taxi. You're pretty alright. <laughs> Two thousand dollars. So let's just put it back, okay? Okay guys. Colin shut the door to the bathroom when the REM pods started going off. That's creepy. So Mary and I are in here by ourselves because apparently this guy doesn't like women. So we're going to try and get something out of this. Let's see. Is there somebody in this bathroom with us? Can you tell us what your name is? Why don't you like women? Did you own this house? Or did you live in the house? And why are you always growling? How did you die? Can you make one of these devices go off? Can you go close to one of them? We heard that you like to scream and growl. Can you do that again for us? Do you know any of the names of any of the other people that are in this house? Where are you in this bathroom? Do you think you could come over and touch me? 
Do you want us to leave? Come and touch this REM pod again if you would like me and Mary to leave the restroom. If not, we're going to stay. Do you like that we're in here? Could you come and maybe touch one of us or give us some kind of sign that you're here? Well, we're going to go now. Unless you want us to stay. Do you want us to leave? It's weird how it's just not yeah. really creepy. Yeah, there, right. But it's so much activity. Exactly. But it is just kind of like a strange energy. It is, definitely. Ugh. It's also really hot. Listen to it. Okay. Now you watch you get touched. Right. <laughs> you better come with me. <laughs> Do you want to come on this intro? Okay, anything? Well, we don't know. Because sure. we were waiting sure. for you guys. Sure. Okay. You can get groped by that. No, no I told him to, you. but he didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. no, I was talking about the mannequin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I do not want to get groped by no. that fat. I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, this could be good. Oh, I'm just trying to peel this sight off my ass cheek. The old one. I'm sure there's one somewhere in this building. Okay. Okay, so you guys just finished your session. Mm-hmm. Yes. How Creepy? Yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, it was, we definitely got some activity in there for yeah. sure. What happened, like, what kind of activity? Well, I asked, like, where are you in the bathroom, and the REM pod went off immediately. Mm-hmm. It went off several times. Yeah. It did? Uh-huh. I mean, I'm interested to see what yeah. comes up on there. We asked several questions, mm -hmm. so. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Look at look at look at Jeff, pause that. Look at that. The actual REM is hitting the oh EM. Oh my gosh. I can't pause it. Well, we're listening.
Well, we're going to go now, unless you want us to stay. Do you want us to leave? That was kind of weird, even at the end. Did it sound like somebody was like, yeah. trying to make mm -hmm. noise or what? It's oh, interesting. Gosh. That was creepy. It's interesting too because when we were playing it in here and we were asking, like playing this in here, it was like going off in there like it was still answering our questions. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And it's also interesting how we would ask questions and even though it's not like a loud boom, it's still like these little... Yeah noises that it picked up right. which is really interesting so like when this is playing uh, when it's running there you don't hear anything right mm -mm. Mm -hmm. not at all also your footsteps just now i heard something out there are you out there It's also weird because oh. whenever I asked the question, where are you in this bathroom, the REM pod went off. Mm -hmm. When we played it on here, it went off. When I just said it mm -hmm. right now, it went off again. I was going to say that REM pod just started tweaking when we were listening to the recording, mm -hmm. too. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? And now it's weird. been pretty much quiet since it stopped. Yeah. Except when oh. you talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> right when you went, mm -hmm. Like, I'm still here. Do you want us to come back in there? That one growl when whoever yeah, said, was, can you growl? And it was like, oh. Oh. Do you have that within the camera? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. I think we should leave this in there. Uh, okay. It's going crazy. That's ins and that's the actual REM. Yeah. That's, the, that's the EM, not the that. temp. Look, it's like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Are I'm you here. getting it? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. So, I think that Jeff and I should sit in the toy room and use the device, and you guys should go back in the bathroom and really see if you can get it to growl. Okay. You know, because we have two of these things. Okay. We'll take a camera. You guys can take a camera. Are you bringing the obvious? You guys can bring oh, the obvious yeah, in there. The Let's do that. This is one. Crazy. I know. Oh my god. You know, it's not the temperature. No, I think it's scary. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> it's not the temperature. Remember, she said that's like the one room that she doesn't like to go no. in. Yeah. Doesn't like. You know. We'll go grab the other one from then. Do they need another night? Do we hold oh. the nose? <laughs> oh, shoes. Oh, Courtney. Oh my god, what the hell? I thought the guys were up the stairs. Oh my god. That was a very loud noise. Is there someone in the hallway with us? Mm -hmm. Ooh. We heard some. We heard like a really loud noise come from the hall. I thought y'all had come upstairs. No. There, and then we heard something. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> so we grabbed the camera. That's creepy. Yeah. Sure is. Yeah. Okay, let me put this stuff down here, and then we'll start. Okay. And don't forget about us in this room. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again. Well, yeah. you're an angry owl, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to stay in the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. Government. Brought. Hmm. What are the government? Are you angry with the government? <laughs> We're gonna come back in there, is that okay with you? Holy. Here we come.
We're going to continue that last experiment. The REM pod, as you can hear, is still going off in there, almost like it's calling for these guys to come back. Mary and Courtney are going to go back in the bathroom because that entity doesn't like women. They're going to run one of those sessions. Again, if the REM pod keeps going off, you might want to just turn the REM pod off. So True. you can do the voice recording. It's sure. not like beeping the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then meanwhile, they're going to be right there. Jeff and I are going to come back here to the doll room. We're going to put the voice recorder next to Big Bird. And then we're also going to run a REM pod and just ask some questions with a different camera. All right. So. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Here Thanks you guys so go. Uh, Here you go. Here's IR. All right. All right. Good luck. Thank you, everybody. Have you noticed that anytime we're about to step in, it goes, it starts going off? Like, oh my God. All right, we're stepping in. We're coming back in the bathroom. That's enough. We're gonna turn this this on and we're not gonna be able to hear you if you keep touching the rim pod. Could you step away from that? Oh my god. We want to communicate with you. Can you tell us what your name is? All right, we have this um, recorder on, so if you come next to it, you can we can hear what you're saying. So I'm gonna put that right there. Come up next to it and we can hear you. This is the DR60 Panasonic yep. again. Uh, Stephanie's the owner of the place, has been kind enough to let us borrow both of these. So we're going to put this next to Big Bird, which is not really a friendly. You know. Yeah, apparently that's an evil Never bird. Done. So, Rich, should we run it? Yep. Okay, we'll start it. There we go. I'm going to put it right next to Big Bird. And uh, keep in mind, everybody, we're here in the doll room, so you got these creepy eyeless babies. Oh, look, you're sitting on a doll. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, I'll sit over to the side. And then you got some raggedy hands. You got creepy burned baby. Then over here you have the oh. creepy marionette Esmeralda. She supposedly has human hair. She's a very creepy doll. Yeah, and that one, she thought maybe, right? Mm -hmm. had, had attachments. Yeah. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. So, here's our REM pod. Okay. To anybody here in this room, we want to hear your voice. Are you in here with us? Esmeralda, what do you have to say? Is there a spirit attached to this marionette? And if there is one, can you give us a message? How creepy would that be to hear? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so again, we're here with you guys, just trying to communicate with you. And we've got a device here. Also, you can speak back in this recorder back here by Big Bird. But give us some idea that you're here. Do you just hear the case? I heard a I click heard, from the big something. bird case. It came from behind you. I don't know. Well, I can see the lights going. So we don't have a lot of things to play with. Actually, I'm going to put out I do, I just remember I had a couple of these cat bolts. I'm going to put these on the table. Here. You kids, you can play with this by moving them, and it will make it go off like that. Okay, so you have this 
kind of colored lights to play with and these here, these balls, go ahead and play with those or talk. What's your favorite doll in this room? I feel like I hear it coming from right here. Like these baby dolls. Is the angry man in here? You know you have these balls to play with and these lights over here to play with? Can you can you please just Try to play with these and show us that you're here. Can you tell us what your name is? Can you growl for us again? And you can growl as loud as you want. We feel like you're, we feel like you're an angry spirit. Why don't you let all of your anger out in a big scream? Did a woman hurt you while you were a human? Is that why you don't like women? Is something or someone making you stay in the bathroom? Why does it bother you that Mary and I are in the restroom with you? Are you old or young? Okay. You seem like you have a lot you want to say. Can you tell us what's wrong? You can use one of these devices. I get the feeling that when you were alive, a woman, whether it was a child or a wife or a girlfriend, that someone hurt you deeply. Is that what happened to you? we remind you of someone that you once loved? Or of someone that you once hated? 
Do you want to hurt us? Are you getting angry? All right, we're gonna turn this REM pod off, which means the only way you can communicate from here on out is through this voice recorder here. All right, so we're gonna turn this off. Do you care if I play with you guys? Who's in here? Can you uh, tell us your name if you're in here? Make sure and speak into the case where Big Bird's at. That device will pick up your voice. Do you guys get along? How I many get a really evil vibe from this thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost like yeah. you put your hand by it, it's uh -huh. like, I yeah. shouldn't be doing that. Mm -hmm. It's really creepy. Maybe, you know, that might be the uh, silencer, right? Can you knock like this? Did you have a favorite game that you played? Tell us what it is. Why are you so angry? If you're the one that's yelling, can you tell us why you're so mad? Are we thinking it's the same person in the bathroom coming over? I was yelling earlier. Okay. Two people. Yeah, it could be two. So if you are here, an adult especially, and you had a job while you were alive in your body here, what did you what did you do? It's getting late. What was your occupation? Could you come play with this doll in front of me? I'd love to play with it with you. It's on the team. Yeah. Come on. Okay. You can do it. Wow. Do you want to That's come over here and play with this doll? I'll play with you yeah. if you move it. I think you're just starting to come out. That was really cool. Tell us what your occupation was when you were alive in your last body. You can't really see it on the camera because mm. it's, you know, infrared and it looks like it's bright in here. Mm. But sitting here with this red. REM pod, mm -hmm. REM pod light mm -hmm. glowing on this raggedy end doll. Mm -hmm. It's a creepy doll. It's yes. just a creepy scene to right. be looking at right now. This doll's mm -hmm. like... It's, like, it's again like when you're actually in the moment here, it's so much different than when you see it on film. And I really do feel... You know, we keep saying that. It's really like more comfortable right here. This thing really gives me an off. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to look at it. Mm -hmm. Can you come back and play with one of these dolls with me? Doesn't matter which one you want to play with. It seems like you were getting angry when we were asking you those questions. Why, why do you not like to be asked those questions? Are they hard to talk about? Are you stuck in this place? And that's why you're angry? Could you give us your loudest scream into this recorder if you're not happy with our presence? We're just about ready to go. This is your last chance to try to tell us something. All right, we're gonna leave now. It's your last chance. You can speak into the recorder. stuff sure thank you whoever's in here oh what the heck was that wow that was like a okay. short yeah Wasn't did you it? see that yeah it was weird the whole I think thing's it's like staring right at me oh, this guy is uh, yeah 
not my favorite okay. doll. Oh, oh. oh you're okay. a little blurry. Huh? Yeah. All right. You know, leave this a set until we come back. Yeah, yeah. Let's go Let's review listen. it. So Want to grab this? it? Okay. okay, we'll take it out. Yep. Okay, still running. Okay. <laughs> How was it? Good. Good. Okay, so what you gonna start start with? Okay, yeah. so we're gonna first review Jeff and I's session, which was in that big bird box. Our big bird <laughs> the what would you call it? Display? Yeah, display case. The display case with Big Bird in it. Then we're gonna go over Mary and Courtney's session. Sounds good. Okay, Jeff. Can't wait to hear what you guys okay. do. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Okay, this is my big bird now. Okay, we'll start. No one knows why it's angry. Uh -oh. <gasps> that was a knock on glass, yeah. like yeah. the, the that display was... case uh -huh. yeah. that that doll's in. Ooh. I also thought it sounded like a kid at certain points. Yeah, there were a couple mm -hmm. points for sure that one mm -hmm. really sounded like a kid and almost like a kid again. Then, oh, that's one off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, it's, it's all of a sudden that starts to go off. But to me, it seems like that entity if it is that that's angry kind of like overpowers the kids mm -hmm. like i'll oh, shut up you know like, mm -hmm. yeah. like didn't you feel like that yeah we talked about it like it seemed like there's some control in that room mm -hmm. okay so you guys this is your it session it was really creepy in there we kept the rim pot on for a lot of it but mm -hmm. we turned okay. it off yeah it was right? so amazing mm -hmm. go for it right all right we have this um recorder on so Come next to it, you can. You can hear what you're saying. I'm going to put that right there. Mm -hmm. Can you 
Rollo for us again. Did a woman hurt you while you were a human? Is that why you don't like women? interesting that it, it screamed in yours and then it screamed in ours. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it came from your room over to see us and yeah. then yeah. come back that's, to you. That's uh -huh. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I think so. Or you said you thought, is there two? Yeah. But I, I think it seems like it's the same. I mean, they're basically connected rooms. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we've gotten enough screams and we'll analyze that stuff further, but to end this investigation tonight, you two I want to send to the attic. Courtney and I can go down to the basement. And then once you guys are done up there, you guys come down to the basement and we'll end it down there together with one more of these voice sessions. Okay, you're gonna take one, we're yeah. gonna take one. Sure. And then um how about batteries? So we don't run back into that. So that one should have full batteries. You know. I I'm so fing mad that we weren't filming that. Somebody just grabbed my back like this. Did they actually grab Hello? your back? What? Grabbed your back. There's something like grabbed my shirt. It felt like, well, not like my shirt, but like this. Like just touch me right here. You hear that? There's a little crack in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and there's a knock here. Oh my god, my heart is racing. Did you just touch me in here? I just felt like someone like this. Okay. Like that just touched me. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wait, that's, that creeped me out. Oh, that is very good. Yeah, so the door was closed too. Mm -hmm. Wait, that that camera's still rolling? Oh, oh, that would have got it then. That's still this one? Yeah. Mm. That's good. Yeah, we didn't touch it. Oh shit! So that at least and got it was the pointing like that yeah, 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 right yeah, at yeah. you. Yeah. Got me peeing too, but. Probably well, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll So in this creepy doll room, the one where Esmeralda, this creepy marionette is, we're gonna set up, let's set up the Boo Buddy right next well, to her. Well that's what I was wondering, I was, I was sick in, in there. We're gonna set up a static camera, the REM pod, and um, the Boo Buddy, so that we can uh, try to get an EVP. Oh yeah, the REM pod is built into this one, remember? This yep. is new. Yep. So we'll take the REM pod up. The, oh yeah, you guys can yeah, take that. But this static. has a REM pod, the, the remember? Yep. The arms, okay. So the, yeah, the, this, this thing's one. got a built-in REM pod where it yeah. illuminates arms if it's yeah. touched and everything. And it asks questions this, on its own. This will ask questions and then we'll have the EVP recorder right by it to pick up responses to the questions. This, so this is all 
on its own. Yep. Okay. So let's okay, let's set it up. Okay. Ready? Start the recorder. Okay. Here it goes. It's red and blinking. Okay. Boo, buddy, and Esmeralda, you guys have fun. <laughs> let's get out of here. Every time. It's like, okay, so we'll have these, a camera, and the SLS we Mary. Take everything from you? Okay, yeah, we're we gonna should... go down to the cool basement, and you guys go up to the attic. <laughs> you old timers. <laughs> yeah. Go we'll sweat it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Enjoy. Good luck. Onward, right. Christian. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, we go up. Go for it, Jeff. Okay, yeah. here we go. Okay. We'll split up. Have fun. You too. No, you, you but stop. what the heck? It just stop. It stops on its own. I do not touch it. <laughs> I do not touch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. See you guys. Okay, love, you. love you. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, this is creepy down here. Big basement, isn't it? Ugh. That guy is f***ed up. We just heard footsteps upstairs. It's not Mary and Jeff. We would not hear them from the basement. <gasps> this dog gives me bad vibes. On. Dispose. Ran. Dispose. Ran. Very interesting because she was saying they think either there were abortions, illegal going on down here, or illegal adoptions. Either. Square. Loss. <gasps> Loss. Spelt. Chance. Storm felt chance, dispose, ran. It's like illegal adoptions, people just dropping off their kids Eight. and running. Felt chance, dispose. Inner. They were getting rid of them. Quiet. Did you get rid of your kid? Dirty. Stood. Dirty. Record. We're recording. Can you Bro. do Could you make a noise for us? Are you here with us right now? Can you make a noise? Did you just hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? I don't know. I have no idea. Look that rocking chair. That sound like crumbling or like a... Like it was like thrown. Did you just throw something at us?
quiet, quiet! What? I don't know. Something just made a noise behind me. Sorry, you scared the shit out of me. Were you filming? No. Oh, this was filming? You're a very brave woman. I appreciate you. <laughs> you want to kill that light? Sure. It's the obvious one. Guys? No. That wasn't them. I cannot believe that wasn't them. Mary? <gasps> Jeff? Two will set down here. I do have a couple cat balls. Babe, that is the most. Do you see them? Uh -uh. So they're in the attic? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, no, no, no. We have to keep going down here. Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm gonna have like a heart attack down here. Okay. Those are incredibly loud sounds. Yeah. Second floor, then the attic. Oh, 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 oh my god. Hello? Oh my god, this room is pitch black. 
I literally cannot see anything. At least you have the camera and you can see. Is there somebody here in the basement with us? Can you make a noise? Angry man, are you here? What? Oh, oh, look at that, look at that. Right when they started to come down too. That hasn't gone off once. What's happening What? What's You guys just came from downstairs, or upstairs? Yeah. We have literally heard so much shit no. down here. So, so much. I can't even see. We haven't, we didn't have anything Really? No, nothing. We had so much down here. Where's Courtney? Over here. Where are you? <laughs> We're freaked out. Oh, Courtney! Oh, wow. Where is she? <laughs> oh, you're so brave. <laughs> okay, why don't we all sit right here then? Okay, everybody. It's Colin here. Mary. <laughs> Courtney. Jeff. <laughs> uh, we had a great night here at the McIntyre Mansion Villa. I mean in Atchison, Kansas. Everybody had a spooky night, right? Oh yeah, oh, very. Yeah. I've never heard EVPs like no, that. No, no. The screams. No. But we'll be back soon with another episode. We're filming tomorrow night. Last night we filmed at the Sally House. Hope you guys enjoyed. But it's really hot in here and we're tired as hell since it's past one, so it's time for bed. We still have to review the bear. We still have to review yeah, everything. The room. Anyways, y'all, we love you guys. And uh, as always, stay spooky! Woo! See you guys. <laughs>